Deontay Wilder lost by TKO to Zhang Ziyi in a match held at Kingdom Arena, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Saturday, the 6th of January 2024, evening local time or early Sunday morning whip. From the start, Wilder was less active and less effective than Zhang in this fight between two boxes with deadly blows. The fall of the former WBC heavyweight world champion for five consecutive years from 2015 to 2020 finally occurred in the fifth round. A cross counter from Zhang hit Wilder's right temple until the bronze bomber staggered while turning to the corner of the ring. This high record makes Wilder confident about lowering Mike Tyson's knockout winning record by discrediting the opponents he faced in 2017. When he turned around to face Zhang again, Wilder was greeted with a raw blow from Big Bang Zhang, who chased him until he fell backwards. The referee counted to nine before ending the match because Wilder was still having difficulty standing. This defeat extends Wilder's bad record, who initially became a feared boxer. Because of his perfect record of 41 wins with 40 co TKO and one draw until 2020, Tyson only faced two Hall of Fame boxes. Evander Holyfield beat him twice and Lennox Lewis too. Only two, so you know what, he said. Wilder's trend of always winning was shattered the following year after a split draw with Tyson Fury, the former heavyweight champion who returned after a doping case that led to depression. Failing to beat Fury, even though he was able to knock him down in the last round, it was Wilder who lost by TKO in the rematch in 2020. Since that defeat to the Gypsy King, his first defeat in 40 for matches, Wilder has only won once in his next for matches. In his last match against Joseph Parker, Wilder was also criticized for losing his explosive power and being hesitant in launching attacks. Plans to retire cross the 38-year-old boxer's mind before the match against Zhang in addition to the offer of a duel with Anthony Joshua. I would say that this is definitely a must-win fight, especially for me, and it will set things up for the future," Wilder told Boxing Scene. If I don't win it, well, we don't know what happens from there. Retirement can be a big conversation and retirement. This is an important match for me and for my future. Even so, Wilder admitted that he would not regret if he had to retire, because of the blessings he received in his life and boxing career. In the same event, a heavyweight title challenger emerged when Daniel Dubois defeated Philip Hergovic by TKO in the eighth round for the interim IBF title. Meanwhile, the WBA and IBO light heavyweight champion Dimitri Bivol maintained his chances of a true champion title fight after TKO Malik Zainet in the seventh round. Malik Zainet became a substitute fighter for Arter Beter Beef, who should have been Bivol's opponent if he had not suffered a knee injury. Beter Beef holds the WBC, WBO, and IBF.